Okay, this is the uh, Panasonic RQ212DS personal tape recorder. It's uh, DC biased, dating this about 1980, maybe a little bit off, 82 maybe. It's hard to tell because it actually has the connections for shoulder strap. So it was also so valuable, somebody took the time to uh, etch their. Uh, Watch my calling into it. Don't know if you can see that. Their uh, serial number. So it must have cost a boatload. Has this cool little thing that uh, measures the power level too. As you heard, uh, that was Max Celebrate the Holidays. Any cassette tape fan's gonna have that. It's really common. 1986 came free with a pack of uh, Max L blank audio cassettes. Uh, they also have a uh, tape from a film strip that I got out of the church, uh, out of a dumpster behind a church. I don't know why it's buzzing like that. I don't know why it's buzzing like that. Probably needs to have the head cleaned or something wrong with the adapter. Remember film strips? Oh, doubt schools still have them. Yeah, this is side B. I'll show you how it records. It's got the typical Panasonic orange button within the play button. Push that down with the play button. This is the test of the Panasonic RQ212DS tape recorder. Early 1980s. Very cool looking. We'll do a rewind. This has the space for the 6 volt uh, DC adapter, or uh, I mean ACD. AC, <laughs> got an AC adapter. Can't talk today, geez. It's got this nice volume knob that's labeled with uh, numbers. You can tell which uh, volume output level you're on. It's also got the sp uh, space for the microphone with remote. I have one, but it's not connected. I usually don't use the internal mic on these because you get a lot of motor noise. This one has terrific sound to it. It wasn't coming through with either the uh, film strip tape or the uh, Max Celebrate, but oh well. You know, just have to take my word, it has great sound to it. It's a mono oral. If I haven't said this already, it's DC biased. It's got a mono 
8 ohm uh, headphone output jack for a single earbud. Probably one of those things at this time period that was like one of those plastic things with the other little plastic thing you stuck in your ear. It's like a little speaker. I don't know what those are called. Earbuds, I guess. Of course, it has the. Of course, it has the uh, modern Panasonic logo. And the battery compartment. Four AA batteries. Why is it so blurry? So you can see they did explode, so this no longer functions. This part, but wish it did, but. It's not a total loss because it still works. That is the Panasonic RQ212DS. Personal tape recorder from the early 80s. Not sure of an exact year.